Let's not wake him up. Oh no, I should be gone. Ah! Run! All right, he farted after I passed. Woo! Hello there, my YouTube friends and fans. Welcome back to Grounded. I'm here at my upper yard base, which I still very much like. I like this cozy little corner. I upgraded this fence, which I originally built to keep the wolf spider out that kept visiting me here before that and she never came back ever since even though I just had a glass fence and the only reason I upgraded it is more for looks because the grass fence did just fine well look at that I can step up here and like in an actual official fort I can look over the fence and defend my my property here <laughs> And the night before, I worked through the whole night to, in order to get something done that I wanted to do for a really long time, which is connect the, my upper yard base with the lower yard. Basically, a very, very fast access for me to come down here and grab materials, resources that are rare around my base up there like pebbles, like mushrooms, weeds, to name a few. There's many things that I kind of have to walk a lot farther up there in order to get. But I was thinking, I have this yard right below me. Why not come down here and grab stuff? So now I can. And thanks to this, I'm actually exploring underneath the picnic table a little bit better. Something that I didn't do for a long time because I didn't have the tools I needed, for example, for this. So now that I have this number two shovel, I can finally get this. I long forgot about this. And not only do I get gum, but I also get a mega milk molar. I just thought I'd share that for those of you who may have missed this one that's under the picnic table. So I'm currently here at the back at the oak tree where I have two bases and lots of resources that I actually need in the upper yard. And I also want to come here to collect some more ant eggs and a lot of other things like pond moss that I just cannot get in the upper yard. So while I did that, I actually found out that all of a sudden the wolf spiders are coming up to the branches up here that they never did before as you can see there and first I thought oh that's just a glitch that wolf spider is just stuck but it happened to me now three times in a row that on two different days that wolf spiders are literally up on those branches now which is a little concerning not too concerning since I have a lot stronger weapons now and I can definitely take them down but they have surprised me a couple of times because sometimes you just don't expect them and they just like attack you from behind or something like that as you can see that wolf spider is all over that branch and look at that they all of a sudden now jump really really high so i don't feel so safe here anymore but yeah i don't know if that was a recent update or if i was just lucky that this never happened to me but this is like after playing like 200 hours this never happened to me even the the fact that the wolf spiders are usually not out during the day is another thing so i think they just probably did this so it makes it a little bit more difficult on the oak tree i have no idea so since i have to come to the oak tree area a lot to get certain resources i needed a better way to commute I have the zip line already, which you've seen in another video of mine. I've had this for a while. And I also started on this bridge a long time ago and then kind of got tired of the project. But check this out. I finally finished this. I call this my highway because it's super long. It's super flat, super straight. And for me, it's pretty much the fastest way to get from the oak tree near the upper yard and back. 
but I mainly did this because I actually have a base down here in the lower yard at the end of this highway and that's why I kind of wanted to do it in the first place and also because that's where the red ant hill is and other things that I just often like traveled between the two points and now it just comes in handy because now I need to travel between the upper yard and the lower yard a lot and up there is my upper yard base and then I have something over there which I will show you shortly and here you can see the whole highway from this side so yeah let's get up there I'm here in the lower part of the upper yard near the field station that's down here I also built stairs here I am stair crazy I know <laughs> so I built something here that I could only build farther over here and not unfortunately not from my base because it's not high enough but I thought this is still gonna be super helpful if I do quests and stuff near the shed so this is the first time I'm trying it out oh my god this took a lot of spider webs trust me but I think it's totally worth it because it's working that is definitely the fastest way but in order to do it from the other way if, if I want to do this uh, backwards I would have to find do, like do another high point up on the oak tree and I could do that too of course but I would take a lot more spider webs and I don't know if I want to spend the time doing that I'm actually pretty happy with my highway Look at how amazing this looks at night. It's so cozy. I absolutely love it. The only thing is that my little house is getting a little too small and I can't really make it bigger because it's wedged in between a rock and the leaf. But I was thinking maybe I'm going to do like a second story on it or something just so I can store my resources i don't really need space for myself i have a, all my equipment outside anyway it's, as you might see there on the left i don't really need space for that but for the resources it would be nice to have more room and then this is how this looks at night i put some lights because often it's so dark that i have a hard time finding things and i don't always want to pull out my map especially not if i get chased by a bug or something if i just want to get home or into safety so now i have really no more excuse i can pretty much get anything i want and i absolutely love it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and i hope to see you next time until then happy gaming take care bye bye